Can you can you see me or not? No, I can't see you, but it's okay. <laughs> I've tried it like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can see you. Okay, at least you can see me. Yeah, I can see you. Nice to meet you. Hello, you too. Nice to meet you. So, um, tell me how you're doing. Um, so far so good. Doing. I've uh, I've just been doing mainly the options calls because there's um because my time frame is a little screwy i'm still working my other job too so in the morning uh -huh. um i have the room on still but i just have it in my headphones okay and i'm scared if i can't get the buttons fast enough that i'll make mistakes so so wait a minute what's your work schedule what are your hours um my hours are really crazy hold on one second here sure Sorry, my front door is open. There's lots of birds that, and stuff. Yeah, I don't know why the webcam isn't working. That something must be one of my settings because I've done too many different things. I, I'm sorry you can't see me, but go ahead. It's okay. Um, my work schedule is I work a uh, like a 5:30 to 3 p.m. type job. California so, time. Oh uh, yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, that's, Las well, Vegas that's basically Nevada. Pacific, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm lucky that I can still, I can take my, my computer to work with me and I can still have, I have my Bluetooth headphones in mm -hmm. so I can still be a part of the room. I, I'm trying to get out of my job to tell you the truth. It's a, it's a really horrible job. What do you, what do you do? May I ask? I'm a marijuana farmer in the, in the legal industry. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never heard of such a thing in my life. What do you, yeah. what do you do? What do you mean? Like, what do you do? You grow it I, or? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a master cultivator. I, um, my, my parents own dispensaries and, and oh. cultivations. So I literally make thousands of plants. I'm in charge of, uh, I'm in charge That's of about 8,000 plants at a time. Wow. But it's, it's, uh, when we started this, it was like a, it was like a fun novelty job. I was in real estate before uh -huh. and I got out of this when we got legal, um, yeah. two years ago here in, in Nevada. And now that it's uh, it's a super corporate run type of thing, and there's millions and millions of dollars at stake every day, and all yeah. the pressure's directly on me, and it's it's uh, sucking the life out of me. Really, but 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 your parent, it's your parents' business. Like, if you quit, don't you think your parents will be upset? Well, it's they're the they're they're investors, so they're not directly running what's happening there. Okay. Huh? So, I mean, yes and no, as long as I have, a, as long as I have another gig, you know, or so, at least something to occupy my time, they're, they're pretty okay with what I do. How did you find me? I found you from, um, well, I was about, a, I don't know, I don't even know when I took your class now. Um, I guess about <laughs> You're like, two... it feels like forever ago. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> Um, I guess it was roughly two, maybe two and a half, three months ago. Okay. I was just, I was working 16 hour days and I was just so down and I, I tried to trade futures mm -hmm. and stocks before in the early 2000s. So I was a part of a couple of different trading rooms with no success. I, I had no coaching mm -hmm. and no education on it. So I just blew through accounts Wait. and I, I know that the stock market is, is the way. Uh -huh. You know, I know that it's specifically shorting the stock market, especially on big fall off cliff days, is like the best thing in the world to me. Yeah, you know, that's great. Well, then you so, did the class very quickly after finding me because I think you did the class in February. So if you found yep. me two or three months ago, it was like boom, boom. Then you must have found me and then boom, decided to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I just, I feel like this is the universe telling me this is what I need to do. And I need to stop spending 12 to 16 hours a day in a warehouse every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, um, you're so young. So you're starting really great at a good time. So just tell me what's going on right now. So let's go over like what positions do you have on right now? Do you have anything to get out of anything today or what are you doing? I have, let's see, right now I have, um, right now I am long the spy and Facebook options. Okay. So the new spy one that I called, you mean? 
Yes, the new spy as of this morning. Okay, great. And then what was the other one you're in? I'm still in the Facebook option call from last okay. week. Let me look at that one. So everything else you got out of Friday, that was the PNL you sent me yesterday, yep. I think, yeah. All right, so yep. everything looks fine here. Everything looks fine with this one. And so then the thing you sent me, so then all the ones last May, week you made basically 1500 on. Was that yep. what the total? Yep. So you're just taking that, little small lots, like one lot, one lot, one lot. Is that what you're doing pretty much? Yeah, on the spy, on today I took five. Oh, you took so, five. Oh, I know, right? I really didn't get <laughs> That's a lot. All of a sudden you're going from one to five? Well, yeah. <laughs> I believe in this. I believe this will work. Okay. So what do you think you're going to make? Here, let's just go over a thing. Right now, what was your cost of the SPY? Let's talk about the SPY one. My cost of the SPY, let's see. What did you pay? Two something. Okay. My cost in the SPY, I paid um, 250 Okay, you paid two fifty, and where did it close? It closed down a little bit. What were you closed yeah, at? Yeah, it closed down a little bit. Let me see if I can get my. Was it under it two, or did it close over two? Um, let me see here. My it closed under two. It's one ninety two right now. Okay, well that's basically two. That's yeah. basically two. Okay, yeah. so when you see something like that, do you panic or not? Um, well, like look okay. at the chart, pull up the chart. I want you to pull up the chart that you have yourself, your own chart. Okay, let me see here. I'll pull it up. I, okay, I made the huge beginner mistake on the Netflix call. And <laughs> what I saw that? it go down. Wait, how did we were talking about the spy? How did we get onto Netflix? What, what did well, you Well, no, no. <laughs> last week, last, last week. Okay. So I when before Netflix went up through the roof, it dipped down and hit like the 280 range. Yeah. And I was in the options trade and I panicked because I saw my account going negative. And I was like The only day I, was that was 38. 38 was the only down day last week. Is that and you killed it or what'd you do? Um yeah. And the second that I killed it, it went through the roof. Yeah. So, so you took a loss in it and then it exploded. Yeah, that was a really tough one to swallow. But then when you were up in it originally, when you were up in it, how much were you up? Um, I was up in it. I was I was up probably I don't I should keep better track of this. I was up probably four or five hundred dollars. But then okay, so it's fine, fine. You don't have to be exact, but I mean you didn't think it was enough to get out? I should have. But I why didn't you get? Why didn't you think it was enough? Um, I don't know. I was just so so hope. You know, I was just so thinking that it was going to go up above the three. You know, three hundred, three twenty mark when which it was it down. Which it did. That. Which it did. It did. It did. Yes, it, I just didn't. I didn't hold out long enough. So and so. Then, anyways, the bottom line is though, it's okay because next time this happens, you're going to do what? Either you're going to take it for the quick profits, or if you know you want to hold out for the big one, you might have a you might have a suffering day. Yep. And so that translates into this this spy options trade that I'm in because even though it's closed down a little bit, I'm definitely not panicking because I know and I have all the faith in the world that it's going to go up. For sure, it gapped up. It's going to go up. So let's just do a little experiment here. It was the 280 calls out to the end of the month. So if the if the market opens neutral, rallies tomorrow, gaps up tomorrow. Let's just say the market runs up, and I'm just going to throw a number out there to approximately 282. Do you know how to figure out what that is going to be worth? Because this is something that I'm just telling you right now. Here, I'm going to teach you something really quick. Since we're doing this video here and I'm taping it, how do you, you got, you got to go and look at the option chain, pull it up right now. And you're going to okay. figure out what you're going to estimate, what you think it's going to be worth if it goes to 282 in the next, I'd say two, three days or whatever, because it's, this isn't exact, but it kind of gives you an idea. And I'm just picking 282. Actually, let me look at the chart here now. <clears throat> because you need to know if I'm up X, Y, Z amount. I am I going to get out? So because that's really what you should have done with the Netflix. So say say uh, spy goes over two eighty, the next mm -hmm. target would be, and I'm just talking about a baby target would be two eighty one, and then after that 
281.50. Yeah, and then after that, 282. So say it goes, and even I think, I think really actually 283. Look at 283. So $3 over the strike, pull up the option chain. Look okay. today. What did SPY close at today? What was the closing price of the SPY today? Go. 278.52. And what were they worth? They, um, what were the the 283s worth? Oh, at the money. At the money calls today were worth what? Hold on, I'm going to turn my phone off. At the money calls today were worth what? 293. Okay, so add three bucks onto that, which would be, what did you say? 293. No, no, no. Add three dollars to the closing price today. So we close today at two seventy eight, two seventy nine, two eight, two eighty, two eighty one, two eighty one fifty. Find the closest one to that and see what it's worth today. Today, today, today. Two eighty. Okay, two eighty one fifty today. What are the two eighty one fifty calls today out expiring at three twenty nine? 329, the 329, the so ones that you have, but $3 over the one today, what? 101? No, that can't be right. No, 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 no. $6.11. Is that right? That seems that seems a lot. Let me look it up. Good. Are you sure? Yeah, look it up because I'm not sure if I'm looking on the right 281, 329. Here, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, look it up for me because... Two eighty ones, or maybe I'm look just looking at the wrong number here. Oh no my... no no! I, that's one. I want to look at. Hold on, March 29th. No, I want to do three dollars in the money. We closed at two seventy eight. Hold on, two seventy eight. You want to look at the two seventy five fifties. Two seventy five fifties, three twenty nine. Oh. Hold on, two seventy five fifties underneath it. I want to do three dollars plus in the money. That's what I'm trying to say to you here. Two okay. Se or let's just look at two seventy five. Two seventy fives out, three twenty nine are worth approximately five something. They're close to five. Yep. Okay. Yeah. They say it says four ninety nine on my chart. Right. Okay. So let's just say five to rough it. So you pay two and a half. So that would be a hundred percent flip around. So if it goes up to 283, you would make 100% of what you risk. So how much did you risk on that on the five contracts? I risked, uh, I risked about $800. So then you would make $800. Yep. And that would be a fantastic day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> So basically, that gives you something to look for, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if, if you're on your phone and you're in the fields and you're farming the marijuana, you can pull it up and say, oh, spies at 283, boom, I'm probably up about 800 bucks. This isn't next week. It's this week. Okay. It's just roughing yeah. it today, tomorrow, whatever, the next day, the next couple of days. So that just gives you an idea. Because again, you have time value in the options, which, you know, whatever with that. But I'm just saying this week, it's probably going to be around there. That's and what I'll do is I'll just start locking in profits and then I'll do like a, a trailing stop or something like that. So even if I can't see it, as long as I get to, I mean, if it hits 283, I'm, I'll probably actually get out of it all. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Yeah. Okay, yes. so, so that's good. So let's get back like, quickly to the day trading. So since the class, you haven't day traded at all because you're at, at work? Is that the, the whole thing? Yeah. Pretty much. Wow. So how are you ever going to day trade then? I'm going to get out of this job. So can you can you take a lunch break or something? Just because it's just from 930 to, to 10. I mean, can you take an hour lunch break or something? Yeah. I mean, I can I can work something out. It's it's usually um, OK. So it's it's an indoor facility. I, was, I could send you pictures. Actually, you, I've, I wrote you on Instagram. You can see some of my pictures on there. I, I didn't. I didn't look at your Instagram, but I did. I did see you told me who you are. I literally, I literally am so busy. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I forget you're a big celeb. You gotta <laughs> live that busy life. I just got back tonight, and then I thought, well, let me just see if you're home. No, that's. I definitely appreciate any any one on one contact I can get with you. Definitely, I want because you are definitely eye opening. Oh, thanks. Okay, so let's go back to.
to the day trading. How are you going to figure it out? How am I going to figure it out is I'm going to, um, I'm just going to make time to do it. I just, that's, that's, that's basically what it comes down to. There's certain days of the week that are busier than others. And, um, that's, that's just, I just have to do it. I mean, I, I, the universe is telling me I got to, I have to do this. So I, I, it's interesting because you did the class without knowing how you were going to be able to train what was going through your head that made you decide to do it. I mean, I got to give you compliments to do that because you're going with your gut, which is something that I do. I'm very intuitive myself, but I'm saying that it, most people will be like, I'm not going to do the class until I know I can trade and do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know what I mean? Like what yes. made you all of a sudden decide to do it, not knowing how it was all going to come together? Well, um, part of it was because I remember you telling me I could do the class more than once if I wanted to. Uh -huh. And I just, I just want this knowledge so bad. I just want to know how to do this. Like you can't believe that's, that's basically what it comes down to is I knew and I, I just knew that I had to do it right then. And I'm, I'm hoping actually I can get at least the day off if I'm not done with this job by then to mm -hmm. sit in on the next couple of, or the next, uh, the next class to, yeah. So, so I really want to get it down. So you, um, what, 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 like, uh, obviously if you haven't been day trading, you've just been doing the options. What, what do you think is the biggest thing you've learned so far? Um, but, patience and and risk management like when i was doing futures before i would just i would have you know i didn't have coaching and i would just try to go with my gut which was wrong 99 percent of the time and i would just take too many contracts and it would it would just be ugly it was bad <laughs> But now are you looking at the chart? Like it's not just me saying it. Look at you are you looking at the chart? And you're Absolutely. saying, "Yeah, I see what she's saying here about this one." Yes. Um it's on it's, well, I don't work every weekday. Mm -hmm. So days like today I was in the room the whole time and I have I use Thinkorswim, so I just I have all the charts up that we're talking about. But and do I also you see watch. it? Like if I say this looks higher, do you honestly see it? Are you still in that process? Not, I'm not talking about the gap ratings. I'm just saying when I say, geez, this looks like it's going to blow. Like we were talking about the spy, whatever, last week. And then it didn't go Thursday. And then it went on Friday. Like, do you see that there when I'm talking about that? Or are you still like trying to figure it out? No, I think I see it. Um, let me look at the spy from last Friday. I, I see it. I just want to see it better. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, I mean, when I look at certain charts, I feel like I can see if there's, if it's, be, you know, if there's buying pressure coming in. Right. And obviously with you, with you talking us through it, it's 100% easier mm -hmm. because you really can see it. <laughs> but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to grasp on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's all helpful if you can if you can see it yourself too when you're looking at them looking at them. I mean I know you're working a lot of hours, but like on the downtime or the down days or whatever, if you can sit and look at the daily chart and look at the charts, you didn't do the bullish gap class yet, and I know the options you're in you're in are bullish gaps, but even still the point of the buying and the selling where you can see where it's gonna take off or drop like a rock in the shorts, you know, like even though you're not doing the shorts yet, if you can see it before it does it, I think that's very, very helpful. Like Dollar Tree, like Dollar Tree, you were in the room, we did the Dollar Tree, the DLTR one last week, whatever that was like, yep. did you see that, that, do you know what I'm saying? Like, did you see that when I'm like, I did 86 I, or 87 or whatever I said? I did. There was another one that you did that I really saw too, that I, or it was, uh, Dang it! I wish I could remember what what symbol it was. That's okay. But you you were like, this thing's gonna go down. This is gonna sink like a rock. And you actually got out <laughs> a couple bucks down, and then it continued to go down. Like I, I think it ended up going. It was like a thirty nine or forty dollar stock, and it ended up going down four bucks that day. I don't even remember. I'm so tired half the time because I'm doing so many things. I'm just happy if it moves a dollar. <laughs> but right. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. You're like, it moved a dollar. I'm out. I'm, I'm good. You're like, you guys can stay in it if you want to, but I'm taking this. And it proceeded to fall another $2. It was really, really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I think 
again, not every gap is created equal. Withholding, Netflix is a great chart. It's a strong chart. It did the pop. But like, because you're so new, I think it would have been okay for you to get out with four or 500 bucks, like whatever that was last week. Now you're trying to sink your teeth into this spy one because you missed out on that Netflix and killed it. And that's okay. But I'm just telling you, not every trade is going to go to the dream target. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I definitely, definitely understand that. I know it's not a, a magical money making thing. It's, it's definitely uh if I could go back, I would have just taken a, even a few hundred dollars in profit off that Netflix trade, and and then I would have been okay and not. Well, you could do that. Up. Every time you're up, you could take half out and let the rest ride, or you could take it out full, and then if it goes higher, then you don't look at the chart and don't let it bother you, or you hold every one of the bigger one. Yep, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use what I learned from from you and definitely just lock in profits that's that's what i have to do well, when you it had goes a good up week like last that. week I and mean, you had a good week last week that was you said that was your best week ever or something or what did you say in the email i forgot oh yeah I was that was one of the it, as far as just like stocks and option trading absolutely that's the that's the fifteen hundred dollars in a week i mean i got lucky in the futures market a few times and and had big you know five or six thousand dollar days but the the bad outweighed the good yeah that's for sure it's the consistency do you have any questions for me that you want to ask me because we're doing this um i don't not not really i'm just just cruising along just excited to keep going <laughs> that sounds good well i yeah. think it'll be a new experience for you once you start to do the day trading just practice with small size when you do because you're not used to doing them and they do set up fast so yeah. just practice like with 100 share lots initially once you i mean i don't you know whatever platform you're losing you're using just practice mm -hmm. on there before you go and take big lots i i do I, and i will continue to do that definitely i have a i have a uh, a paper account too okay. that so i put my my reasonable you know my my what i'm comfortable with in my actual live trading account and then i'll go to the paper account and really go wild and see you know <laughs> take like a hundred thousand shares of it and see see what happens so did you before i let you go tonight so did you do the amazon and get out or you didn't do it i don't remember i don't have your pnl up like you didn't do it or what it no, was expensive i, I know it, it was expensive yeah yeah that's why I just I I looked at them and I was like, oh, Facebook, Spider, and I was, you know, the Qs. Those are those were reasonably priced, so I I got into those. And the Amazon was just too expensive for me. I didn't want to I didn't want to overextend. No, that's okay. That's all right. Were you upset that you didn't do it then, though? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Did you, did you... Well, yeah. If you had done it, do you think you would have gotten out Friday or today? Oh, I would have gotten out Friday. Yeah. Okay. I get I get scared going over the weekends because I don't you know it's so much time in between. I I don't like really holding overnight to tell you the truth, but mm -hmm. you know, in options, obviously you gotta gotta hang on. Well, I mean, I I think you know that's why the day trading probably you'll really get into because you don't do the you don't hold it overnight. So it's kind of a different mentality, but just holding one night or two nights isn't like holding for weeks or months. Yeah, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just very excited, happy to be here. I know and it's great to it's great to meet you. You too. I wish I could see your your beautiful face. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll have to figure out what's going on. I did some kind of Skype with Cheddar TV, and I think they have the setting. It was last week. I think they have the setting because I know my webcam works because I was on it before. So I'll have to figure it out with my assistant, and we'll do another one. We'll do another one. You, you're doing well. I'm happy that you're up, and then you can do the next class in March, and then you've got to just. I don't know, you have to figure out with your schedule how you can start to practice doing the day trades because you can't quit your job until you know that you've got this down. So you're going to have yeah. to figure it out or something. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to, uh, yep. Can I'm you gonna go on a different shift? I'm going to make it happen. Can, can you do second shift or third shift or they don't, it, it has to be the morning? Uh, it kind of has to be the morning. It's a, it's a very morning type thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Got to be in the mornings, but it's uh, sorry. One second here. That's okay. 
hell? My girlfriend just got home from work. This is, does your girlfriend look at charts? No, not yet. I'm trying to get her into it though. Your girlfriend should listen to my videos. Right, I know. I will, I'll have to let her know. <laughs> Tell your girlfriend I said hi. <laughs> She's, she can hear you. She says hi. All right, well, listen, it was great talking to you. Have a good night. And then um, I will see you in the room in the morning and just, I don't know, somehow you're going to have to practice one day a week maybe or something. I don't know. No, I will. I'm, I'll figure out. I'll figure out how to do it. All right, it's good talking to you. You too. All right, have a good night, Chris. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.